so with this basically figured out now here comes the hard part when it comes to these diffs for the CRV the ring gear is what has the, the threads so what I have to do is I have to drill out the threads on the OEM OEM H22 diff drill those threads out so the bolt could pass through because these are the bolts for the CRV diff these are the ones I will be reusing and these are the ones for the regular prelude those are just the shorter version so I need this so after some messing around this is the diff I put some spacers some washers in between it this is just temporary just to make sure everything is going as it should because I have to get a spacer made for it um, this is the measurement that top black line is where it should be and the bottom line the bottom black line is where it was so as you can see it came out to be the right measurement with spacers included so I should be fine right there so I already checked with a straight edge so it should be fine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that in here just to play around with the measurement make sure everything's going as it should so there it is it's in and it has good clearance but for some reason I think that that bearing is not all the way down to the ground I think she got amoeba it has his lip sticking up so I'm gonna go work on that now to see if it does in fact needs to go down a little further because from what everybody was saying you have to drill this out in order for it to fit but for right now I got plenty of clearance so I gotta see maybe something is off maybe I'm doing something wrong but let me double check and find out so this is the whole setup right now this is with the prelude gear set we're gonna be using the final drive and the counter shaft so I have to take everything off of the H22 which is here place it onto this one and that should be the next process so I'm guessing that's probably why this gear set still sits up so high it seems as if it's about a, a 16th um, between the teeth and the final drive so it doesn't seem 100% so I'm gonna check it with the H12 and see what's going on maybe these gears have a different offset that lowers it but from what I've been reading there's supposed to be clearance issue but right now that bolt goes underneath there underneath first gear with no problem so I don't know I have to double check to see exactly what's going on so this is where we got so far today this is the h22 stacks these are the prelude stacks from the third gen what i'm going to do is i'm taking everything off of the counter shaft i'm taking everything off the counter shaft for the prelude and using all the h22 gears on the prelude so that's the process i'm just going to take everything off swap them over and then put them back into the case to see to make sure everything works correctly I'm gonna try my best to record it because just so I don't mess up or forget where something goes. So that's what I'm gonna try to do right now. May not be the best angle, but you know, it is what it is.
is the prelude counter shaft with all the H22 gears. So right now all the H22 gears are on the prelude counter shaft. So I'm gonna put it in and see if it works. So the shaft and everything, the H22 gears are on the prelude, the Gen 3 um, counter shaft, the smaller shaft. So now I'm gonna start assembling the actual H22 main stack. This is the dry fit. I put the gear stacks in. You can probably see from the top. So I have both gear stacks in. It's locked in place. The case is on. And I was able to actually rotate the whole assembly. So obviously I don't have the diff in because the diff is still right here. I gotta now I gotta put this in to here to make sure everything spins as it should. And if everything is in fact correct, then I could just start taking apart. Um, I could just start taking apart everything one more time. Make sure all the synchros are actually correct. Make sure everything is more or less aligned correctly. Go through all the gears and then slap it back together. And if that works, that transmission should be good and ready to go for spring season. So we finally have the transmission completely, you know, mocked up. This is more or less what it should be. The shift the gears, the selectors are in place. These are all CRVs. They fit into the H22 setup. So that's why I'm running those. This is the H22 diff with the Prelude, the Gen 3 Prelude final drive because I switched the counter shaft. And it has the CRV all wheel drive ring gear at the bottom. So this is where they said you have to do some machining because right here it will hit this. So we have to basically scallop this all the way down to here and then cut the bolts in half. So this way, once it spins, it'll clear. See, right there, it's touching. It's touch Basically, what I have to do is I have to machine out the surface right here to where this lip will be equal to this part right here, or maybe a little lower, just enough so, and then you know, basically cut the bolt, the head of the bolt in half, the shoulder. So this way, once it spins, it'll be able to clear underneath here without much work. But so far, this is a good sign that I'm at this level.